everybody, this is Danny with Legendary Muscle, and today I'm here with my good friend Ken and his 67 Nova. Thanks for coming. Oh, thanks for having me. I appreciate it. Yeah, no problem. Uh, so before I get into Ken's car, we're going to talk about Ken himself, because I want you guys to understand why he has this car built like that and why it's set up the way it is. So I drag race. I drag race at a pretty high level. You know, I've done Outlaw 10.5. Mm -hmm. I've done Pro Mod. Okay. Um, and currently I'm doing Pro 275. All right. With supercharged motors. So uh, tell me, um, it's not with this car, obviously. What cars do you, do you race with? So I currently still have my 67 Camaro. It's known as the Gold Camaro. Mm -hmm. um, it, I've been very successful over the years with it, whether okay. I've been driving it, whether I put a driver in it. Okay. Um, and um, you know, right now, currently, it's a Pro 275, and it has a, a roots blower on it. Right. And um, it makes you know, around 3,700 to 4,000 horsepower, depending on how much boost we wow. stick through it. That's a lot. Yeah. So that explains why this car is the way it is. Yes, sir. Um, so looking at the car, I mean, I love it from blower to the paint scheme and everything. What color is this? So it's a 2015 Range Rover Silver. Um, I wanted to do the car in Cortez Silver, which is uh -huh. like a 69 color. Okay. But it's a little too dark for us. Gotcha. So I wanted to something a little bit brighter, you know? Oh, okay. So obviously, big motor, you need a lot of stopping power on this car. Um, what kind of brake setup do you have? So we put a Willwood system on it. I mean, the, the system that's on the car is basically what you see on the race cars mm -hmm. to stop the fast race cars. Okay. 17 inch and 20 inch rotors, mm -hmm. um, you know, disc all around, of course. Okay. Now I see some tubes in there. What do you got going on? So it's a Heights front end, uh -huh. um, if, if that's what you were talking about. Yep. Um, we have a Heights front end. We have uh, sand tough shocks in the back on a, with a Ford nine inch. Okay. Um, I have coilovers in the front. Um, and it's a ladder bar car because it's not a race car. Oh, so, okay. and uh, a lot of people mistaken it for a tubbed out pro street car. Uh -huh. um, I like to consider it as a street machine. All it has right. a pro 275 in the back on an eight inch rim and, and uh, full interior. Okay. So, and that is not tubbed, right? No, sir. Not okay. tubbed. That's, that's kind of funny because when you look at this car, you think, oh, little inline six skinny tires, but it actually fits a very big, decent tire in it. So yeah. I think I think Chevy had a plan. Well, <laughs> I, being honest with you, I did take the original wheel wells and we stretched them a little bit. Okay. To fit a little bit bigger tire in there. Because, you know. The Massage them in. Yeah, horsepower needs some tire. Yeah. However, does. you open the trunk up and it's a factory looking trunk. It has the room and comfort of, okay. of a 1967 Nova. Okay. So it's still got the gas tank in it and everything. Yeah, the right? gas tank's underneath the, the, in the car in the original spot. Okay, that's yeah. cool. So this started off 67 Nova. Now, when you got it, was it a rust bucket? I mean, where'd it come from? So the car was originally from Maryland. Uh, when I had found it, it mm -hmm. was located in New Jersey. Um, when I found the car, I had been looking because I wanted to do another Nova. Okay. Um, it was uh, it was quite something. It looked like it was ready for the junkyard. Mm -hmm. It wasn't a rust bucket. It just didn't have much with it. Oh, no glass, sure. no trim, no interior, sure. no fenders. It just was a quarter panel with a roof with some wheels and tires that you could roll. Gotcha. So interior is, it looks pretty much original besides the roll cage in it. Yeah, I wanted to keep it, you know, um, sort of like the factory style. Mm -hmm. So it's a 1967 SS interior. Okay. Um, with all the factory gadgets and bells and whistles, everything does work. Okay. Windshield wipers, you know, the turn signals, everything's, uh, the gas tank even works, the gas gauge. Oh, wow. Yeah. That's, that's very rare for cars this age. Yeah. They're always usually like a quarter off or something like that. Yeah, or no <laughs> gas gauge at all. <laughs> right. I've had cars like that. <laughs> that's awesome. So. I want to talk a little bit more about the engine. You think we can take a look at it? Sure, let's go. All right, cool. So Ken, tell me a little bit about your engine. So it's a 496. Okay. It has some aluminum aftermarket heads on it. It's a blower shop, 871 blower. Um, I'm making about eight pounds of boost. Nice. Um, carburation is two 750s uh, with uh, vacuum secondaries. Mm -hmm. um, I did dyno it on an engine dyno. It made 984 horsepower uh -huh. at eight pounds of boost. Okay. So like, did you, I, I know you don't have your fender wells in here and whatnot. Uh, did you really, besides the front end, I mean, was this pretty much plug and play once you had this front end in or um, yeah, the motor? Pretty much. We had, I had to make motor plates 
mid plates. Uh -huh. That's the, what you see down here. It's the chrome okay. motor plate. Mm -hmm. um, I had to make headers, the exhaust. That's all custom made. Uh -huh. um, and just, you know, uh, fit a big radiator in the car to keep the horsepower cool, right? <laughs> right. Yeah. Being in Florida. So what is this? Is this like a three-core radiator? Yeah, it's a four-core radiator. Oh, four-core, okay. Yeah, in, in property. Um, dual fans. Um, gotcha. You know, it's, it's rated for about 1,500 horsepower. I haven't had any problems driving it around, so it's, okay. it's working. All right. So, like, you got your Willwood set up right there. Now, the engine... Did you did you custom make it yourself to your specs that you wanted? So I have a guy uh, back home. Uh -huh. um, he does a lot of my block work for me. Mm -hmm. So I said to him, hey, listen, what's it going to take to make about a thousand horsepower? What kind of cubic inch? So he's like, listen, we can do a 496, put some nice heads on it and all day long, a thousand right. horsepower. And uh, we did. Um, so his name's Lorenzo, his uh -huh. Lorenzo Fast Low Heads. Um, really great guy. Okay. Um, you know, he got everything ready for me. I, I assembled it. Right. We went to the dyno. And, That's awesome. Yeah, we had a dyno day. It was fun. Oh, wow. And close to 1,000 horsepower. Well, okay, that'll pull you back. So, yeah, right. Um, wow. I think the only thing that's left over is uh, for us to take a little ride. Sure, absolutely. Why don't we go right. do that? Okay, sounds good. Let's go.
Okay. That is cool. When you throttle this, uh -huh. it's pretty easy fast. Yeah, well, that's a thousand horsepower for you, yeah. right? Well, I really appreciate the time you gave us here. I hope I gave you a good enough oh, ride. Oh, man, that was a fantastic yeah. ride. Yeah. Man. A, little, a little busy out there on a Sunday afternoon, but um, you, you got the experience and power. Oh, yeah. And Sits you in your seat, right? Yes, it does. I bet that was perfect. So, do you have anybody you want to give a certain shout out to? Um, yeah, my boys, right. um, Kenny and Joe, they uh -huh. have been rock solid through doing this car for me every step of the way. That's um, awesome. In terms of people helping me with the car, um, just my boys. I, I have a boys' night once a week, uh -huh. and the guys all come over on Wednesday. My brother, my buddy Vic, my buddy Econ, my two boys, and we just work on the car. That's so, awesome. Um, it's a real good maybe, bonding experience. Yeah, maybe like a team event. Yep. Really cool, right? That's awesome. So, from Legendary Muscle, from Ken and Danny, like and subscribe if you like the video, and we'll see you later. Ciao. Thank <laughs> you.